hello guys so after a long time in this video we are going to see the chapter which is the main chapter in an indian penal code so in the chapter la irundha pathina nee ungalku vandu ipc la irundhu we will be getting 10 marks 10 to 15 marks vandu in the chapter la irundhu kadikku in the in the chapter la irundhu questions vara exam la so it is in the chapter vandu mukkiyamaana chapter so yeah so now let's start from now we have the introduction so what is indian penal code so it is the um, procedural code in which the ipc it is the procedural code it is the procedural code in which the ipc which is indian penal code is implemented so ipc it is implemented in the procedural code implemented is criminal procedure code so it is implemented in in the criminal procedure code okay so yeah so ipc ipc la vandha etana sections irukku in ipc we have in ipc we have it consists of 23 chapters it consists of 23 chapters and 5 11 sections okay so when a state is organized when a state is organized the people set up rules right so state unda aarambikkum bodhu and the rule krimakkal da avanga unda rules la set panna aarambikkanga so and the rules the breaking of which and the rules on the break panna bodhu it is called as it is called as crime so when a state is organized people set up rules the breaking of that rules is called a crime so nam ipc pathona um the ipc 1860 it came into force on ipc 1860 came into force on jan 1 1860 so it is a uh, ipc is a substantive law of crime so it is the substantive law of crime so it, it defines acts which constitute an offense and lays down punishment for the same so it defines acts which constitute an offense and lays down punishment for the same general principles so we have uh, two types of um defenses which is firstly we have general principles and defenses and the second one is specific offenses so these are the two um types of um, ipc two forms of ipc so next we have the jurisdiction of ipc 1860 what is the jurisdiction of ipc so countries make laws that apply countries make laws that apply to territories outside their own country okay countries make laws that apply to the territories outside of their own country which is known as extra territorial jurisdiction it is under section in it is under section 4 and 3 of ipc and what is intra territorial jurisdiction it is under section 2 of ipc we also have you know na so in the line which is intra territorial jurisdiction it is where a crime under any provision of ipc is com- committed within the within the territory of india and section section 2 of the code it deals with intra territorial jurisdiction of the courts next we'll go into 
fundamental elements of crime. So these are the fundamental elements of crime. We have human being, mens rea, and actus reus. So what does that uh, define? So mens rea, we all know, it is the bad intention to the crime, and human being. The crime is that the act must be committed by a human being. The act on the it is committed by a human being. Mens rea is. Mens rea is the act alone. Mens rea la we have. The act alone does not amount to guilt. The act must be accompanied by a guilty mind. The act alone does not amount to guilt. The act must accompany with a by a guilty mind. So, mens rea is defined as the mental element necessary to constitute criminal liability. So, it is the mental element to constitute criminal liability. So, it is the <coughs> actus non facitrium nisi mens rea, which is the act alone does not amount to guilt. Next, we have the types of mens rea. Types of mens rea, we have the intention, negligence, and recklessness. Intention. Uh, so intentional we have the criminal intention the criminal intention does not mean only the specific intention so it also includes the generic intention as well so it ha it have to be proved and the intention have to be proved negligence what is negligence <coughs> Negli negligence is the is negligence is not taking care where there is duty to take care. So it is not taking care where there is duty to take care. What is recklessness? So recklessness the it is the um well, recklessness occurs when the actor does not desire the actor does not desire the consequences but uh, foresees the possibility and continuously takes the risk. The actor doesn't desire the consequences but foresees the possibility and con and consciously takes the risk. So there are many exceptional cases where mens rea is not required in criminal law. <coughs> so what are the ex exceptional cases? We have um, so we have the departmental penalties. Petty fines, public safety, and in the fourth point, we have ignorance of law is no excuse, which is the last line, <coughs> which is um, ignorance here, Judas non ex excuse. It. it is ignorance of law is no excuse. So, this exceptional cases is important. In exam point of view, so next we'll come to the uh, corporate body and mens rea. Corporate body and mens rea. We have um, the person. What is the what is the meaning of the word person? Person includes any company or association or body of persons, whether incorporated or not. We have a case law here, and Third, we have actus reus. Actus reus means um, it is a, a human being and an evil intent um, other or not enough to constitute a crime for one cannot know the intentions of a man. So it is you need to do but you do not do. You need to do something but you choose not to do. That is actus reus. Act or omission. Kalli which is illegal. <coughs> so next we have the um, the stages of crime. The stages stages of crime. Uh, um, we have criminal intention, criminal intention, preparation, attempt, commission or crime of uh, or accomplishment. So which is punishable and which is not punishable. Criminal intention it is not punishable. Preparation it is not punishable but in exceptional cases it is punishable attempt it is punishable and commission or crime it is punishable 
so we will see it one by one <coughs> criminal intention abadina it is the first stage of crime um so it is not punishable and and the conscious exercise of mental faculties of a person to do an act for the purpose of accomplishing or satisfying a purpose so law does not as a rule of punish a uh, rule punish individuals for their evil thoughts of crime or intention so the criminal court does not punish a man for mere guilty intention because because it is very difficult for the prosecution to prove the guilty man uh, guilty intention of a man <coughs> next we have the preparation it is the second stage it is to arrange to arrange for the for commission of intended criminal act so it is not punishable but some preparations are punishable for example um what are the some uh, preparations it is waging of war um counterfeiting coins or government stamps processing counterfeit coins or false weight or measurement of forged documents preparing uh, m- making preparation of to commit decoity so what is decoity here decoity in another it is the robbery done by more than 5 people tirit it is done by more than anju perku mela it is a uh, robbery pannanga right is known as decoity and we have <coughs> attempt what is attempt so attempt is punishable of course it is punishable and so an attempt is punishable it is um the direct movement towards commission of, of a crime after necessary preparations have been made so it is the direct movement towards commission of a crime after necessary preparations have been made um so what are uh, the crime that can be attempted to wage war against the government of india separate punishments attempt to uh, commit suicide is also uh, a crime that uh, that is punishable and the last stage of uh, crime in anna it is a commission or crime or accomplishment successfully done the crime so it is a presumption of uh, innocence and burden of proof a person is innocent until he is proven guilty so we have um, the punishments the kinds of punishments firstly we have the death 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 sentence is the harshest of punishments provided in the ipc and it is rarest of uh, rarest cases next we have life imprisonment prison till the last breath of the convict imprisonment which is we have uh, rigorous imprisonment which has hard labor and simple imprisonment forfeiture of property and fine fifth one is fine which is forfeiture of money by way of penalty the government uh, will take the person's money in way of penalty next we have criminal conspiracy so it is covered under section 120a and 120b of ipc the definition of criminal conspiracy conspiracy is when two or more persons agree to do an illegal act first point is when two or more persons agree to do an illegal act second is an act which is an act which is illegal by illegal by illegal means so the so the punishment for criminal conspiracy under section um 120a is offense punishable with death etc so we have criminal misappropriation of property apdina it is the theft of theft of movable property under section 403 and 404 it is the theft of movable property so under the uh, section 403 dishonest misappro- misappropriation of property dishonestly mi- misappropriates movable property imprisonment which is so dishonestly misappropriates a movable property na two years of fine uh, with two years fine or both imprisonment misappropriation we have a misappropriation conversion punishment and fine so idla vandu important case laws ena sollana we have muhammad ali vs state and the second one is yuder vs state of jharkhand next we have the dishonest misappropriation of property uh, possessed by deceased a uh, dishonest misappropriation of pro- property possessed by deceased person at the time of death section 404 so it is um it converts to his own converts to his own property knowing such property was in the possession of a deceased person at the time of the person's death it will be imprisoned for 3 years 
ஓகே ஒருத்தர் இறந்து போயிட்டாருன்னு தெரிஞ்சும் அவர் இறந்து இறந்த உடனே அவரோட இன்னொருத்தரோட பேருக்கு மாசுறது இட் இஸ் இல்லீகல் அண்ட் பனிஷ்மெண்ட் என்னன்னா ஹீ வில் பி புட் இன் டு ஜெயில் ஃபார் த்ரீ இயர்ஸ் அண்ட் அந்த நெக்ஸ்ட் ஒன் இஸ் கிரிமினல் ப்ரீச் ஆஃப் ட்ரஸ்ட் இட் இஸ் அந்த செக்ஷன் ஃபோர் நாட் ஃபைவ் அண்ட் ஃபோர் நாட் நைன் இட் இஸ் இட் இஸ் அ கிரிமினல் மிஸ் அப்ராப்ரியேஷன் ஆஃப் ப்ராப்பர்ட்டி அண்ட் நெக்ஸ்ட் வீ ஹாவ் கிரிமினல் ப்ரீச் ஆஃப் ட்ரஸ்ட் அண்டர் செக்ஷன் ஃபோர் நாட் ஃபைவ் So, criminal breach of trust, um, it applies to movable and immovable properties, conversion to own use, another person's property. Um, criminal breach of trust is a civil wrong, it is not a criminal wrong. So, the, essence, the essential ingredients are, ingredients means essential cases to refer are, example, um, V. R. Dalal vs. Urendra Naranji Thakkar. Second is Pratibha Rani vs. Suraj Kumar, uh, Stephen property. Third is S. K. Alag vs. Um, state of UP and others. So what is the punishment? What will be the punishment? Uh, so we, we have the uh, case laws here. And what will be the punishment? Punishment under section 406, imprisonment for 3 years, fine or both. Criminal breach of trust by carrier under section 407, 7 years of fine or both. Not both, 7 years of fine, uh, 7 years of imprisonment or fine. Criminal breach of trust by check. by clerk or servant under section 408 imprisonment of 7 years or fine criminal breach of trust criminal breach of trust um, by pol- by public servant or by banker merchant or agent under section 409 it has 10 years of imprisonment 10 years of imprisonment or fine the act done by strangers is treated less less harshly example um, baga singh vs state of punjab and bachu singh vs state of haryana நெக்ஸ்ட் வந்து நெக்ஸ்ட் டாபிக் இஸ் சீட்டிங் செக்ஷன்ஸ் ஃபார்ட்டி ஃபோர் ஃபிஃப்டீன் டு ஃபோர் டுவெண்ட்டி ஆர் த செக்ஷன்ஸ் ஃபார் சீட்டிங் ஸோ வி ஹவ் செக்ஷன் ஃபோர் ஃபிஃப்டீன் விச் இஸ் ஹூ எவர் பை டிசீவ் ஹூ எவர் பை டிசீவிங் எனி பர்சன் அண்ட் யூஸ் இஸ் த பர்சன் ஸோ டிசீவ்ட் டு டெலிவரி டு டெலிவர் எனி ப்ராப்பர்ட்டி டு எனி பர்சன் ஆக்ட் ஆஃப் ஒமிஷன் இஸ் லைக்லி டு காஸ் டேமேஜ் ஆர் ஹார்ம் டு தேட் பர்சன் அண்ட் பாடி மைண்ட் ரெப்புடேஷன் in in body mind or reputation this known as cheat uh, so what are the ingredients what are the ingredients of cheating deception fraudulent or dishonest inducement consent for retainment induced omission or commission actual harm so next we have cheating by cheating by personation um, section 416 it is to pretend to be someone else pretending to be someone else punishment for cheating under section uh, 417 so it is a simple cheating the punishment will be imprisonment for 1 year or fine or both under section 418 imprisonment for 3 years or fine or both next one is punishment for cheating by personation under section 419 uh, imprisonment um, int- imprisonment for 3 years or fine or both cheating and dishonestly delivery of property under section 420 7 years and fine destruction of any property or valuable security fraudulent deeds and dis- dispositions of property under section 421 to 424 the law is smart enough to con- undo fraudulent transfer of assets next we have f- f- forgery forgery la under section 463 it is the punishment which is subscribed under section 465 it is to imitate fake example fake signature documents degree bank notes etc forgery under section 463 punishment for forgery under section 465 imprisonment of 2 years fine or both in under section 464 making of false document or electronic record and example example case law is balbir kaur vs state of punjab next we have defamation under section 499 when a person makes or pani or publishes imputation or intending to harm or intending to harm or having reason to believe that such imputation will harm the reputation of such person um it is known as defamation in your do apdina hidden defamation so what are the exemptions uh, exceptions what is not defamation it is written here um, punishment for defamation under section 500 imprisonment for 2 years and fine or both kinds of defamation we have um 
signs of a defamation it is here which is very important libel and slander libel means by some con concrete permanent form libel means by some concrete permanent form and slander means by words libel is tangible and slander is intangible uh, and temporary so printing or engraving matter known to be defamatory under section 501 imprisonment of two years or fine or both example case which is sankaran versus ramakrishna pillai and next we have the except general exceptions which is also important you can read it so uh, a revision which is extraterritorial jurisdiction we have outside the juris extraterritorial jurisdiction now outside the jurisdiction intraterritorial jurisdiction now within the jurisdiction mens rea abdina mens rea is the mental element it is the mental element necessary to constitute criminal liability act is non facet rem nisi mens rea which is the act alone does not amount to guilt the act must be accompanied by a guilty mind guilty mind accompanying by a guilty mind is a very important word and next we have the recklessness recklessness occurs when the actor does not desire the consequence but foresees the possibility and consciously takes the risk next we have the lesson roundup the indian penal code 1860 is substantive law of crimes it defines acts which constitute an offense and lays down punishment for the same it lays down certain principles of law of criminal law the procedural law through which the indian penal code is implemented in the criminal procedure code the basic function of criminal law is to punish the offender and to de detect the um, incidence of crime in the society the commission of a crime consists of some significant stages if a person commits a crime voluntarily it involves four important stages which is criminal intention preparation attempt commission of crime or accomplishment the punishments to which of offenders are liable under the provisions of ipc are death life imprisonment imprisonment forfeiture of property and fine when two or more persons agree to do or cause to be done an illegal act or an act which is not illegal by mean by illegal means such an agreement is des designated a criminal conspiracy whoever being in any manner entrusted with property or with any dominion over property dishonestly misappropriates or converts to his or his own use that property or dishonestly uses or dispossesses of that property in violation or, or of any direction of law prescribing the mode in which such trust is to be discharged or of any legal contract expressed or implied which he has made touching the discharge of tr such trust or willfully suffers uh, any other person so to do commits crime criminal breach of trust whoever by deceiving any person fraudulently or dishonestly induces the person so received to deliver uh, any property to any person or to consent that any person shall retain any property or intentionally induces the person so deceived to do or omit to do anything which or omit to do anything which um, he would not do or omit if he were not so deceived and which act or omission causes or is likely to cause damage or harm to the person in body mind reputation or property is said to cheat so yeah guys this will be the end of the chapter if you have any doubt or um, any clarification or want to com complete any other chapter you can comment it down so until then bye